So I'm going to show you how I set up the beam expander. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is to set up the limbs so that the big blurry spot ends up where the original laser beam was. And so there's the original and here it is with the lens in front of it. And so just align the lens so that the, the beam after ends up at the same spot. And so I'm going to do the same exact process with this uh, second lens. And so try and set that up. It ends up right in the middle. And voila! Here I'm using a 18 millimeter convex lens, but here I'm using a much longer focal length, uh, 252 millimeter focal length lens. So to get a, a much bigger beam, because uh, the beam was in, was uh, not not big enough. And so, because the beam was ends up being too big, I used the variable diaphragm um, to make the beam exactly the size that I want. So here I can change the diaphragm size. That's a, that's a nice feature. And uh, one thing I forgot in my demo was the circular obstacles. Yeah. And so here you should see something like this out of a circular obstacle, which is the other part of the Fresnel zone plate, which is not described in the demo uh, instruction booklet. With that, you can see a pattern basically like this. And just be sure to note the bright spot in the middle and the bright ring around the dark object, which is what Fresnel predicts. From that, it won't end up in the exact same position.